music. We have, uh, you have Oktoberfest going on, the Pretzel right. Festival. There's so many things going on yeah, this weekend. Yeah, and each of our meteorologists are involved in one of them. Brian Davis will be pouring beer at Oktoberfest. Of at course. The main tent on Sunday, or the main beer at Cart. So okay. visit him for a beer. Tara will be, I believe, Saturday at the Pretzel Festival mm. in Germantown. I get to go to the Chocolate Festival. I think you got one of the best assignments. And not only do I get to go, I get to judge the recipe contest with a panel of judges. So. That's not too bad. I not know. a bad gig there, Jamie Jarosek. I'm pretty excited <laughs> for that. And the weather's going to be great for all of these activities going on this weekend. This morning, we're starting off cool, as we have each morning this week. It's 53 degrees with clear skies, a lot of sunshine around lunch, and 74, and then 5 o'clock, 82. So another warm day with a good deal of sun and that low humidity. Humidity. It'll be nice and comfortable. In the evening, we're back down to 76, still looking mostly clear at 7 o'clock. So, the Chocolate Festival on Saturday, if you're heading out to the fairgrounds there, we have temperatures in the lower 80s once again, similar to today, a nice warm start to the weekend. It's 53 with clear skies, calm winds. Our dew point is down to 49 degrees, so it's still a very dry air mass in place. It's going to be a while before moisture is able to saturate and uh, we get rain in the area. Really, the chance is very low as we head through the next several days. It's 54 in Dayton, Kettering. It's 52 in Moraine. At the base, it's 51. Springfield, one of our cooler spots at 48 degrees. High pressure still sitting to the north and east. It's going to be there for a few more days. We continue with that easterly flow. Little change in our weather day to day over the next several days. Looks like a pretty stagnant weather pattern. Satellite radar imagery. Again, we've had mostly clear skies over the Miami Valley. Can't rule out a little bit of fog here and there this morning, but visibilities are still pretty good at this point. And future track shows dry weather at 9 o'clock. We'll stay that way through the lunch hour. And for the drive home at 5, still looking mostly sunny and warm across the region. Overnight, clear and cool again. That trend continues into tomorrow morning. 7 a.m. will be in the 50s. And then tomorrow will warm quickly once again. Lunch hour looks comfortable with mid to upper 70s. And uh, a lot of sunshine will continue for the area. Today, our forecast at 82 for the high. Lots of sun, a pleasantly warm afternoon. And going into this evening, it's going to be quite comfortable if you're heading out to those high school football games, your Operation Football Forecast, kickoff temperature at 76 with clear conditions. And then we get into the evening and we'll drop down to 67 through the end of the fourth quarter. Very nice with that light breeze coming in from the east. Uh, tonight's low drops all the way down to 54 with the clear skies and cool conditions. And then tomorrow, a high right around 82. Lots of sunshine still very nice for us here in the Dayton area. And also Columbus, the Buckeyes will be back home playing Cincinnati. The weather looks great for that as well. Sunday, 82, mostly sunny. Probably see a few more clouds around for the second half of the weekend. Very, very slight chance of a shower Monday or Tuesday, but most locations are going to miss out on the rain, and really the trend will be for the pleasant, comfortable weather to stick around through Thursday. There are signs that a cold front tries to get here by Friday, so we'll have a better idea on that as we head into next week.